Audrina Rose, thank you for joining me. Now today I have a different kind of makeup video. So this is the final look, but basically what I did in this video was I pulled out three different colors out of a hat and I've created a look from those three colors. So totally random, I didn't know what the colors were gonna be. I pulled them out of the hat and these are the colors that I came up with, red, yellow, and green. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then keep on watching. So the first color is going to be, let's have a look, what's the first color gonna be? Yellow, okay, so we've got yellow to work with. Wasn't thinking I was gonna pull out yellow, interesting, okay. So yellow, just so you can see. The next color is gonna be, so I'll pull out three, this is the second color. Just give it a bit of a shake. Oh, okay, <laughs> red. Yellow and red to work with so far, not colors I would generally pick. Oh my God, please don't tell me I wanna get a blue or something like that, that would be a weird, <laughs> that would be a weird look. Okay, shake, 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 curl, curl, curl. All right, this is the third color. And the third color I'm gonna grab is, Oh my goodness, light green. These, oh no, are not complimentary colors whatsoever. This is gonna be scary. Okay, let's see if I can pull this off. So yellow, red, and light green. Okay, so that's my eye look. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go away, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and I'm gonna come back to you. Just so you know, I have no makeup on whatsoever right now. So I'll do my eyebrows and I'll get back to you and then we'll start the eye look. Talk to you soon. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Okay, so I've done my eyebrows and I've just put some concealer on my eyes with a bit of powder. My base is ready for my eyeshadow, so I'm going to be using the Morphe 35B palette for this look. I might have to use one color out of one of my other palettes since my colors are red, yellow, and light green. <laughs> so it's such a weird mix. I don't know what kind of look I'm going to make with this, but for the yellow, I'm just going to be using this yellow from the 35B palette. And I'm also going to be using the light green. So this yellow, this green. And you know what? I just realized the colors are basically traffic light colors. Oh my goodness. Okay, so yellow, red, and green. This is so weird. So I've got my theme, traffic lights. <laughs> okay, so when I look at traffic lights, it's got the red, the yellow, then the green. So I think I'm gonna do red in the inner corner, yellow in the middle, and then green on the outer corner. So that is the vibe I'm gonna go for, and <laughs> I'm gonna see basically what happens. This is gonna be quite interesting. So, let's give it a go. <laughs> okay, so let's start off with the red on the inner corner. Blend it into yellow and then green on the outer corner. So I'm just gonna be using this red here. As you can see, I have used it in a lot of other looks before because this red is quite pigmented and it's the only one I have at the moment that's really a strong red. of it we're gonna go in and define the eye with some eyeliner so I'm gonna go in with this little angled brush it's just by elf and I'm gonna go in with a bit of a brown powder that I usually use on my brows it's the brow this way powder by Rimmel I'm just gonna define the top of my eyelash lid so now I'm gonna go over the top with this Morphe liquid eyeliner in blackout and I'm running out of this, but this is really good. I do really actually like this. It's lasted so long, so I'm really happy about that. Actually, before I do that as well, I might actually just line my eye 
my waterline with some eyeliner. Now this is a cheap eyeliner, but it is one that I actually really like. It's the Mech O Beauty. It's like a newer brand that I've heard of. I'm sorry, it's so dirty and gross. But for the price, it is good. Like $8 and I don't know, I just feel like this stays on and it's really dark and black and it's affordable. So I do really like this pencil. Like nice and creamy. That's how I like my eyeliners to be. Because I hate them when they're too dry, they just don't smooth on and they don't glide on. But you don't even have to press hard and it like is quite vibrant and dark, which is awesome. Instagram you would have seen that I bought this recently this candid concealer along with this candid foundation so I did say stay tuned for a mini like review this one is quite a good concealer it's not I feel as good as the infallible concealer this one I prefer over the candid one I think this one for me personally is just a bit more coverage um, but this one is still really good. Color wise is really, really more natural in a way. Like it looks, it looks like your skin, which is nice. And this one, I will show you this one on camera. You can be the judge of what you think this one is like. But I'm going to use these ones for the purpose of this video so you can kind of see. I'm going to conceal it now. So basically the tip of it looks like this. It's funny because when I looked at this, I thought it might have been like one of those ones where you squish, but it actually has a tip, which is awesome because you can obviously place it where you like. So that kind of gave me a bit of a shock. So I do like that part of it. That was really quite good. <laughs> okay, so just on a really light layer of that concealer. Now I'm going to go in with this candid foundation. Just again, I just put a little bit on the back of my hand. Yeah. So this foundation is quite thick considering, but it is also sheer, which is kind of hard to kind of describe because like it feels thick on, but it's like a sheer-ish. I don't know how to describe it to be honest. Like I can see through my skin, even though I've just popped a lot just down there. One of my most favorite foundations is the Fenty Beauty uh, foundation. I love that one. That was the first one I've ever tried that I've been like, oh my gosh, like this is awesome. However, one thing it does to me, it does get me a little bit oily during, um, towards the end of the day from wearing it for like a longer period of time. But it looks so nice on your skin and it's just like the nice, the nicest shade to your skin if you get the right one. And it's just like you can hardly notice. It looks like your real skin, but it looks like just like airbrush, which is awesome. This one I feel like is a little bit more like shiny, a little bit more shine producing. If you don't like that really dewy kind of oily <laughs> look, you do have to mattify it. So as you can see with this foundation, for me it's kind of like... It feels heavy on, however, it looks sheer. In real life, I feel like it looks like I can still see my skin and it looks like I can kind of, I don't know, like see my pores more. To mattify my skin, I am going to go in with a matte maker. The bronze I'm going to use is a new one that I bought actually and I put it on my Instagram too, in this picture. I don't know how to say this, Miko Beauty. It is vegan, it is gluten free, it's cruelty free. And guess what, it smells delicious. <laughs> it truly does. So it's got a bit of a shimmer to it. It is a more, I guess, on the warmer side, but I'm just gonna bronze my face up, just use a fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna start off the top and kind of just bronze my whole face. For dinner. I'll just get some bread and just some little knickknacks. <laughs> bread, eggs, ever snacks. I love you, bye. Okay, that was Jamie. <laughs> Bread, eggs, avo snacks. That's the list I gave him. So hopefully he comes back with something nice. Some nice snackies. 
Blush I've been using lately is again the Miko Beauty. I'm repping Miko Beauty right now. It is a, like a new brand that I've never tried before, and I just yeah, I just like trying new brands. So color wise, you can either use more of the shimmery peach color, or you can use a bit more of that matte kind of color, which I like. So I'm gonna do some contouring on my nose. If you've watched any of my videos, you know how I contour. And it's basically, I use the Pro Glow to Glow Tardius palette. And I use the shade Chisel, the one at the bottom. Basically, I just get a bit of a dark chisel shade. I kind of draw two lines underneath, diagonal lines. Because I have a button nose, as you can see. And then I will kind of just align that to make it more straight down the side of my nose. And then I will obviously blend it out, so it might look a bit harsh to begin with. Then I'm going to blend that out just with that same powder brush that I used. Just light circular motions. You don't want to take the whole thing off, but you want to just definitely diffuse the colour so it's not as harsh. And if you find that you're taking it off too much, you can obviously always go over with it. But I just like to diffuse it enough so it looks kind of natural, but also still there. So I'm just going to go in with this. Sorry, it's so gross. Red Velvet Lip Liner by Kylie. So it's pretty good. Now I'm gonna go in with this Maybelline New York Super Stay Matte Ink in the color Pioneer number 20. lip usually I like to really clean that up so I'm gonna go in with some concealer I'll use that same concealer like candy concealer that I used before and I'll just really kind of shape that to make it more precise Now, I'm gonna go and put a little bit of highlight on. And I'm just gonna use that same Tarte, Tarteous Pro Glow To Go palette. I said that correctly this time. I'm just gonna use a bit of a mix. So I just mix these two together. And just add a little bit of highlight to the cheeks. A little bit to the nose. A little bit above the lip. And I might even add a little bit in the inner corners. Okay, so to finalise this look, I'm just going to go in with some setting spray. Just use this Maybelline Last Week Fix one. <laughs> I don't dare to, I'm too fragile, and for that I do apologize. Maybe some I'm gonna say hello to the people. A little white fluffy girl. You're such a poser girl. Love ya. 